Also in eastern Kentucky, it's a frustration that's been building since deadly floods hit two weeks ago. Some flood victims applied for assistance from FEMA only to be denied help. That includes the new homeowners in Breathitt County we told you about whose dream home flooded before they could even move in. Their story raised questions for our investigates team. Tonight, LEX, LEX 18's Lee Searcy has an update on their investigation. Remember Katie Turner? She and her husband had just bought this new home in Jackson when it flooded before they had the chance to move in. Five, six days after you close on your first ever home, a one in a thousand year flood comes and you can't get assistance from anybody. She says FEMA denied them assistance because they weren't living in the home at the time of the disaster. They needed proof of occupancy. Well, we told her story and then kept asking questions to FEMA, then the governor. This is a, can FEMA do more questions? Well, I heard about this couple as well, and it's awful. I mean, it's just awful. And Turner was watching. I actually messaged my family and I said, guarantee you somebody from FEMA will call me. And she was right. About two hours after the governor's press conference Tuesday, she says FEMA called saying they were taking another look at her case. Three days later. Today I got notified that we are in fact eligible for assistance. For home repairs, the Turners need it. Dryer, washers up there, every, everything like that had to be taken out. It's, it's gutted, really. She showed us around. So the water got up to about right here. The inside is a blank slate. All the fixtures and appliances gone. This was a bedroom. And their work is just beginning. But with FEMA's help, now some of the financial burden will be lifted. I'm thankful that they saw that there was an exception, you know what I mean? A, a special, extraordinary circumstance about the proof of occupancy, and I'm thankful that they changed their mind, yes, yes. Why do you think they, they changed their mind? Um, do you want me to be honest with yeah, you? Yeah, I want you to be honest. <laughs> okay. I think they changed their mind because attention was brought to it, to be honest, because I think there are still a lot of people out here who need assistance and who aren't getting it and might not get it because attention isn't brought to their story. Governor Bashir has also voiced frustration over people's struggles to get FEMA help. They need to rethink how that process looks and works, but I would say to everybody, appeal, appeal, and appeal. It can be an exhausting process for people who've already lost so much. Just ask Katie Turner. It's a shame that people have to fight so hard for this. In Breathitt County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News. I think that's a great story. Well, the Turners still have a long road ahead, and the FEMA funds won't cover everything. But through the kindness of others, nearly $6,000 has been raised through a GoFundMe. Now they have help for other parts of their repairs.